With its impossible to miss location across from St. Augustine's famous Bridge of Lions, Harry's Seafood Bar and Grill has become as recognizable as many of the city's historic sites. This is not your kind of standard cookie cutter restaurant. Uh, part of the charm of this building is that it was an old house and the layout is very unique and there are certain dining rooms that kind of I think lend to uh, attracting people to what they feel is, is comfortable. The home where Harry's has taken up residence was built in 1740 then partially reconstructed in 1887. After we had a large fire here on the bayfront in St. Augustine. The first restaurant moved in in 1976 and then a few others followed until Harry's which also has locations in Gainesville, Tallahassee, Lakeland, and Ocala, took over in 1997. The Destination Guide's best restaurant in St. Augustine, Harry's has embraced the city as much as the thousands who flock here every year have embraced the restaurant St. Augustine meets New Orleans theme. A lot of our dishes do have the flair of New Orleans. A lot of our uh, style and charisma and atmosphere here at the restaurant is based around what you picture when you think of New Orleans. It starts in the kitchen where Harry's prepares original dishes, such as shrimp and scallop Orleans. Blackened shrimp and scallops served over crispy grit cakes with tasso cream sauce, and its signature, crab and eggplant Napoleon. It's served uh, Napoleon style, stacked, uh, with a nice uh, rosemary sprig in the top, and it's, it's just one of the best tasting things that you could possibly order. Which could also be said for Harry's Hurricane, a takeoff on the NOLA Classic, or the Big Easy, a blend of Captain Morgan's spice rum, Southern Comfort, amaretto, banana liqueur, midori, pineapple, and sour. I think the name is maybe somewhat misleading because <laughs> it's definitely a drink that after a few of them, uh, it's going to pack a wallet for you. <laughs> as much as the food and drink are a driving force behind Harry's, its atmosphere is just as essential. The upstairs dining with the balcony is incredible. Uh, there's no spot that would be better for a couple to come and have a date night in this entire town than to sit on our balcony and look out at the bayfront. Probably the highlight, I would say, of our dining areas here would be our courtyard. Our courtyard is by far and away the largest, most beautiful seating in Northeast Florida outdoors, bar none, anywhere in the area. We always have live entertainment out there. Welcome to the beautiful patio here at uh, Harry's. I've been told by numerous people that it certainly reminds them of the feel of New Orleans uh, when they are out dining in the courtyard. And when Mardi Gras rolls around. We bring in a large band and have just throw the biggest party we possibly can in St. Augustine every year for Mardi Gras. We have the girls throwing beads out from the rooftops, uh, the band just going crazy, playing music, everyone dancing, everyone drinking, having a great time. Uh, everyone's drinking hurricanes everywhere. Uh, some good natured debauchery. But even Harry's can't live on good natured debauchery alone. One of the things we're proudest of is our relationship with a lot of the other businesses in downtown St. Augustine. Many of the shop owners on St. George Street and bed and breakfast owners don't hesitate to refer their customers to us. Has anyone had the chance to eat at Harry's Seafood? Yeah, food's good, isn't it? People know what they're going to get and what to expect when they come here. We're going to do everything it takes to make sure that they have a great experience here. 